We are completely saturated in our own cultures, beliefs, and desires. So entrenched in our own reality tunnels. The magnitude of another's pain is something many of us simply can't grasp. If I have one purpose in this world, it's one I decided was important to me. That purpose has become sharing what I learned with others, to open people's minds. Not to change what they believe or judge their contradictions. I mean, I'm full of contradictions myself. But more to show people how I've benefited from taking this course in life. This path of seeking value in facts above all else. Today, I'm remembering a particular set of facts which I bear painfully. You see, there have been some people in my own life who had admitted to me that they had been sexually abused. Some were female, some were male. A lot of these confessions occurred when the person was drunk. They told me their personal stories and I saw the damage and how it had changed the person's life and in a very retrograde sense, reconciling and informing me on some of their behaviors and characteristics while all along they were dealing with this enormous trauma from their past. To make matters worse, I imagine all the people I knew who weren't able to tell me these things, or even all the other people I don't know who have been victimized in this fashion. In the context of here and now, in this culture, any sexual conduct between an adult and a child is unacceptable, socially taboo. Yet somehow these things happen with such frequency that we hear about them all the time and it has lent itself to awareness, if not paranoia, in parents today. What I keep coming back to is the fact that some people don't come forward about their abuse. They're too embarrassed or afraid, so they internalize it. The Bristlecone Project is an attempt to humanize and heal victims of sexual abuse. Their focus is on males. One of their fundraising programs is One Blue String. Basically, you donate to it and they send you one blue string. One in six to represent the statistic of men who were sexually abused during childhood. When a friend of mine told me about this program, I immediately donated. There isn't much you could do about such a huge problem, but the problem does not get solved by internalization or ignoring it. There needs to be awareness, an open mind, an acceptance for truth, and finally, healing. If you're a guitarist, I hope you'll consider donning a blue string on your guitar from now on, because it starts a dialogue. It has the potential to help someone.